Welcome back to the finale of Parisia the Emily. Everything's on fires. On fire. And we sort of heading south. Because why not? And we're gonna go through a flower door. I don't know how she managed to get all the way over here, but I'm glad she did. We're going south and she lied about dropping everything. We have lots of stuff. Why is she not dependent? I never know. But yes. We've got no time to explore, even though we've got plenty of time really. It won't kill us. We're going through these doors and everything is going to end. And that's the final door. She must have had a very good time doing all this, Emily. To do all this, she's sick twisted. But what did the explosion? I do not know. And now for the final door that is locked, the entrance that we've been looking at the entire time that we wanted to get out of. Well, I wanted to get out of and Leon just, Leon just wanted to stay and go to her mother. The door in front of me has been boarded up. Right. What can we do with this? Where well, we have the plastic explosives. What do you mean you can't use it right here? Of course you can! Keeping it shut tight, then use the explosives. Use explosives! There we go. God, that's what I wanted you to do. I place all the plastic explosives I have on the door. That's gonna be one big explosion. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, you could technically use the grenade there, but... Suddenly I'm behind the door. I'll hide behind the pillar and watch the door of coding plastic explosives. Right, door, uh, grenade. Got the last grenade. Throw it at that. Throw it at the door. Then yeah, this is the last move of the game. The explosion slams me against the wall. The TNT whips a huge hole in the door. Doesn't blow the door open. Oh, okay, I'll go with that. I walk through the hole I made in the door and step out. You seem to be taking a good sweet time about it. Music's ending and it's slowly going dark. Into the light. Yes, go towards the light. Not the firelight. Not the firelight, but the light. <gasps> Flowers! Beautiful red flowers. Oh no. Is this the action ending? I'm actually completing the game. <gasps> oh my. I have. And suddenly everything's light. With beautiful red flowers. Light shh. Happy music. Yay. Light shone through the cracks and I made my way to the door. But all the... That lay on the other side were endless fields of red, flat red flowers that stretched out as far as the eye could see. Do do do. Happy music. Behind me, flames began to rise. The places that have been collapsed around me, that have been collapsed around me as they were engulfed in flames. I slowly started to move forward as I was being drawn by the light and sound of the flames. The flowers' petals consumed and lifted by the flames. Gently fell down along the burning embers. That was my most beloved mother, just like for seeing Theresia. That, that's not. That, that, <laughs> See, I told you, she's wearing a dress. She had no pocket. Look, she's got no pocket. Where the flipping hell did she put stuff in a. Where the hell did she put stuff? No, no, seriously. Where the hell did she put stuff? She said she had pockets, but. There's no pockets on that dress. And she's coming in bloods. Wait. Is she wearing a shirt under that as well? I guess that can work. But look, you bald, you beffy, why did you remove the boots? Oh, I don't know. Surrounded by the burning petals, I kept walking through the fields. Are flowers feeling the sunlight, feeling the air touch my skin? The scent of flowers and dirt, the distant sound of the wind. I hadn't felt wind for so long. That's when I suddenly realised something didn't feel right. Still, no pockets. My hands were drenched in blood. My hair covered in oil. Oil? Blood all over my body. Wait, if your hair was covered in oil, wouldn't that catch fire? 
I don't know. I was like, I was just, it was just like, what a crazy day. Mother, oh god. And then you woke up and everyone lived happily ever after. Wait, no? No matter how much I ran, the red flowers stretch out before me. Craziness. Suddenly I heard a small weak voice. Huh? What? I can hear it. A baby crying? A baby? Here? Okay. I looked and saw, so any bad red flowers blowing in the breeze? A small, small baby crying gently. Okay, when I came to my senses, my uncertain footsteps took me in, in the direction of the child. Oh, God. I gently picked up the baby and held it in my arms. It's warm. I don't know. It looks like the baby's trying to escape. In my arms, the baby let out a sigh of relief. That's not a sigh of relief. Okay, and fell fast asleep. Well, that's a nice baby. Okay. How lovable. Ah, why? Why are they so lovely? Um. Ah, lovely, lovely. Why have I only just realised this that they've got blank flat faces and a nose? What are you people? Something to be in the air. Oh, is that just my imagination? But that's... what the hell? Why have they got no eyes or mouths? What? <laughs> lovely, lovely. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh wait, I can start seeing the lip. Okay. Lovely. Uh, the red flowers. And is it going to end here? Lovely. Oh god, she's gone crazy. Now she has a baby. And that's going to be the end, isn't it? Yep. Credits! Yay! Yep, it's the end. That is the most shocking ending ever. And now this is going to look really weird. Credits start falling from the right and then slowly go from the left. Go up to the left. Of course, because it's meant to be up and down, but this gives me a bigger view. And all this is done by... Yes! What a brilliant game. Creepy. Creepy, creepy, puzzling game story. But, I guess it makes sense, sort of. But the ending, no, there's no way that ending makes sense. I still don't know what blew up. I know I heard an explosion earlier, but what did it? I n don't know. And all you test players could not figure it out. Okay, you probably did, and I'm just being stupid, I'm not figuring anything out. Test players, you are brilliant to say that. Jimmy, you did awesome artwork. In fact, everyone did awesome work, and special thanks to Tori for I don't know. Probably something really good. I probably completely mispronouncing these names completely wrong. I almost said names wrong then. But anyway, I'm just gonna shut up and listen to the music. Oh, and one more thing! I would kindly like them to remake the mobile phone game and release it to England and everywhere else. That'd be great, yeah? That'd be great, thank you. Yep. Just hinting that out. Yep, I would really, really love to have that mobile phone game out. Yep. Yes, people, this game is based on a mobile phone ge game series. I'm not lying. And yes, this is also a two-parter. This was the part first part. This game does have a second game in it. And he unlocks after doing this one, and I don't really want to do that right now. Because it took me how long to do this one? <laughs> but, oh, beautiful flowers. Beautiful. 
the hell just happened? The, what was that? Work jam. Arc system works. Is that the name of the play, uh, company? I think it is. Not a hundred percent sure on that. But wow, that's all I gotta say. Wow, wow. The story of Phrygia begins to unwind itself as time passes. Excuse me. There is a girl, girl named Martel Phrygia. And guess what, everyone? Yes, I'm not joking, it's right there. I can now play it. But no, I'm not gonna play that. I'm gonna end it here. Listen to this nice, peaceful menu music because it's peaceful and lovely. And that is the end of this Let's Play. Tune in next time for a brand new Let's Play. I will be doing Diamato in the future. Don't ask me when, because I know that game has twice as many traps as this one. And I know it can. I believe the story was in the past, I guess, since that's got the name of Dear Marto. But yes. Until the next Let's Play, everyone. Goodbye. Hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play. And we'll be seeing you again shortly. Goodbye, everyone. Too deep. I don't know. Bye-bye.